And how many of you are going to watch me from the garden today? <laughs> so hot. Don't like this hot weather. I don't like making cards. At least I'm not making Christmas cards at the moment. I'm sure that'll happen next week. Maybe. <laughs> Morning, Lee. Let's see who else is going to join us. You can see on my little thing, I've got my set three swatch. The set three should be starting to filter out now. Hi Jennifer. Hi Leslie. So I thought what we'd do is, because I've got a demo left over from the shows last week, so rather than waste it, I thought we'd actually do it. Um, so it's going to be a guy card, uh, but you could put a lady on it as well, but we're going to just do a guy and uh, we're going to be using the uh, pens and we're going to obviously be using Roaring Twenties because that's what I said I'd do and a little bit of stamping, a little bit of background, some of the papers in fact I'll grab my uh, little bit that I need I've actually got a new phone as well so uh, we won't have that problem with it not about it rebooting willy nilly it does mean that um, you'll see more of my desk actually because it's a it's a wider angle um, phone. So um, <laughs> I've just pushed everything to one side so you, so you don't see it. You don't need that at the moment. Okay, so no, I hate the hate hate the heat. Absolutely detest it. I like spring and I like autumn and I hate summer and winter. So I probably need to live in a country where it doesn't really have seasons, I suppose. Um, but I hate the stickiness that we have in this country. You know, I was try I've got a secret project that I'm working on at the moment and I just couldn't do it yesterday afternoon. Fortunately, the sun on our patio disappears very early afternoon. So it's actually very nice sitting on the patio, but I can't craft on the patio because there's just not the space and I can't be bothered to, to take everything downstairs with me. But I no, I absolutely hate the heat. I'm not a heat person. Any road, let's crack on, let's crack on. So I'll move that to one side for now. So what we're going to do is, oh, while I was waffling on, I could have actually got my stamp out, couldn't I? That would have been a plan. I, I've literally just taken everything out of my bag from last week. Been uber busy. Now, if you've ordered uh, any of the Roaring Twenties collection from me or pens and haven't received them yet, it's because I haven't got them yet. They're coming tomorrow. Poor Phil. He's been absolutely rushed off his feet because obviously he had a show and I had a show and um, there wasn't time for him to kind of packing between Karen and Val were packing on Monday um, so they sent some orders out then but obviously that's just to their customers so I'm waiting for my uh, next order I've had one order but I'm waiting for my next order from Phil which is coming tomorrow so if you're waiting I will be packing all day tomorrow and sending them out tomorrow evening so um, just bear with us it happens. We're both very small setups. I'm just me with my son carrying my bag downstairs and that's about it. Um, so, um, yeah, be patient. Okay, so I'm using the Ain't This Grand uh, from the uh, Roaring Twenties. So he's a very dapper chappy uh, and we've got all the sentiments that are around it as well. 
obviously you can use any of them uh, because we're doing a guy card you really are looking at either this one or the cool cap um stamp set obviously what i'm doing now you can actually do with the fashionistas as well uh, if you've got the trendsetter or the sharp dressed man the man about town or even the the groom the gorgeous groom he would he would work so I'm using Nocturne Versifying Play. I haven't used these stamps since last week, so I'm giving it a really good inking. Because they did kind of tend to dry out a little bit. There's nothing wrong with the stamp at all, but it just means you need to use a little bit more ink. And using the Stamp Perfect means that I can actually go on again if I don't actually stamp it brilliantly. Oh yeah, Rose, Stamp Perfect. Uh, you can get them from Hochanda when uh, Hampton Arts are on. Um, I did look recently and they weren't actually on the website, but um, I'm sure they'll be back at some point. So you can see he's stamped beautifully. Put them to one side, which means putting them on the floor. I don't have as big a desk as, as, as uh, Phil. Right, so then I tend to cut them out so when I get my new stamps I have a session and I stamp each stamp three or four times and put it to, to one side this is the Bockingford watercolor stamping uh, card it's the hot press card so it's nice and smooth but it means that because it's watercolor card you can throw loads and loads of water at it and it won't uh, peel you know when you get the little furry bits coming off on your card that won't happen uh, so it's a very, very good quality card. Uh, I know Phil's selling it on his website at the moment. Um, so you can get it from him if he's got any left. I don't tend to sell it because he actually gave it to me. So I can't really sell what he gave to me. Really, so can I? So anyway, so that's him. So um, yeah, so doing a batch means that um, I put, put it aside to dry for about a day because the Nocturne takes a little while to, to dry. And if you cut it out, you could end up smudging your image. So then I have a cutting out session kind of the next day. So this is the one that I actually started colouring in um, last week. So I thought we'd use him. And I'm using set three. And these are the colours. And I've pulled them all out um, of the watercolour blending brush pens. And I do have quite a few in stock at the moment because I, I bought some more. And they're arriving tomorrow. Um, and uh, I've just pulled them out with a little bit of water. You can see them diluted down towards the bottom here. And the big thing about set three is that we've got skin tones. So we've got kind of that one, that one could be your highlights, but we've also got for the darker skins as well, which mean, which, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, so we're starting with, oh, and in the kit as well, you get two water brushes. You get a medium tip and you also a uh, medium tip um pointy one and you also get a a, a medium uh, water, uh flat uh, brush as well so you can get yourself a really good collection of brushes besides the extra sets that you can get so i've already started and i'm using this kind of um this one i think am i no i can't remember which one i used actually i don't think it's that one i think it's this one we're going to go with that one it doesn't really matter what it is we're going to go with this one so this is a a gray black you can see when it's pulled out it's a gray black rather than the black black the black black is in set one so we're going to use this so we're just going to add another layer to him so just adding some color just around the seams this is how i tend to do it and i think it looks okay Under the UPS van outside. You know all the sounds of the vans. Take your time when you're doing your colouring in. The worst time to colour in is actually live on air because you feel like you've got to hurry up. And you have. And so you tend to go outside the lines, you tend to bleed into the areas, and all sorts of things, disasters happen. But it's too hot to rush today. So, And you can see with these, these pens, as you press harder, the nib splays out because they're a proper brush nib. 
They really are good pens. So um, I've actually got an extra hour uh, with Sentimentally Yours coming up uh, a week on Sunday. Just an hour at 7pm on the 5th. I wasn't supposed to be back, but I am now. That'd be the man, my next time in Oshanda, actually. Let's get this water brush going. Give it a good squeeze. Right. And then just move the colour around. Just moving that harsh line. And it will blend in with what there is before. Um, the Bockingford card, you can work with days afterwards. You know, you can move your colour around. You know, keep going back to it. Just gives them a deeper colour here. You could just, I could have just stayed with the, with the one colour, with the one coat, sorry. And I think you'll find that um, Trudy, Phil and myself all colour these indifferently. I think it just goes to show that um, anything goes really you kind of just find what works for you and if you're happy with the result then do it that way. Okay. Happy with that, he looks alright. Always remember to squeeze the colour out of your, your water brush before you go on to another one. Oh I need to do his hat as well. I like to have his hat the same colour as his trousers for some unknown reason. Didn't do that before. Didn't have time before. Can we have a quick demo with the pens? We've got like two minutes. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go with a finer tip water brush, I think. Let's have a look at that one. Let's see if it's all moving. Just because I don't want to I don't want to spoil this by going out of the lines. I probably will put another coat on this one to darken him up a bit but that's not too bad okay he looks good he's a very handsome chappy hi Eleanor hi Heather not many people watching today I wonder how many people are in the garden uh, now I need to go with blues because let me look at my blues my blues are here now my blues are actually brighter blue than I, than I really want, but I've got that colour there as well, which is a grey blue. Is it wrong of me to dip into another set? Let's go blue. Let's go that dark blue. So I suggest that what you do do when you get your your pens is you do actually do a swatch so you know where you where you're going with it. So with this, I'm get, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to trace my lines on his waistcoat do exactly the same thing bit of a creature of habit not difficult quite relaxing obviously I can't look at your comments and things while we're doing this hopefully you can see okay a little bit further apart so the camera I did, I've did. i got like this um, kind of Dexian unit right next to my desk and I thought, oh no, I'll hang my kind of camera holder thingy off of that. My new phone's too heavy, so it did a droopy thing, so that's not happening. <laughs> Back to square one. So I just start to take the bend out of it, that's what I did, I took the bend out of the holder. I'm going to leave his shirt white. I'm not brave enough to try and shade his shirt, so we're not going to shade his shirt. You don't need to. I'm all about easy colouring in, really. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I like to do his tie to match his waistcoat because he's a coordinated jet. His gent is a bit like Phil, and we're also going to give his um, what do you call it? Cuffs. That's it. You're going to give his cuffs the same colour. I won't blend this bit out. There is, they're like bicycle clips, aren't they? That he's got on his sleeve. It's very dapper. And I'm also going to go with the um, 
the band he's very coordinated the band on his hat's going to be blue as well i'm not going to do shoes blue though that's that's where i'm going to draw the line okay smoking and then move the color just exactly the same thing move the color around at this point you kind of think oh no i've lost all the shading don't mind it doesn't matter because we're going to go in again I would suggest that you kind of, if you're going to go into the area next to where you've been watercolouring, that you actually give it a chance to dry. You can blast it dry if you want to. Because otherwise you're more likely to bleed, as in the pen bleeding. And then do his cuffs. I have been using antique linen distress for my skin colour so it's absolutely brilliant that we've now got pens that are skin colours. You could mix the skin colours with the other sets but I'm very very lazy and I like to have it all given to me on a platter so I don't even have to think about it. I'm outside the line a bit. I if I can Let's see if we can bring that back. And you see, I've just gone outside the line a bit there, and that's going to bug me when I come and do the skin. So if you get a clean brush and just go into that area there and then dab it off, that'll work. That'll work. Right. I might just not be able to do his hand for a little while. So let's do shoes. Let's do shoes. Uh, oh, let's see. Now, what am I going to do? Because I've already used. I'm going to have to use the black black. Uh, where's the black black? From set one. Now, set one and two um, will be available again later on in the year. They will be back. So, if you're new to the. Um, the blending brush thing so you've only just got set three and you missed out on sets one and two then don't panic get set three if you haven't got it and then you can just add the others when they're back in stock I want to keep these to one side so i know what i like to keep the right ones with the right set so you see that's much blacker than his trousers that's what you get you see you've got when you get all the different sets you've got much more versatility to get all your blends. So that, I think that works really well. Hi Trudy, it's all right, you're allowed to be late. <sighs> yeah, my craft room's upstairs. The problem with my craft room is that in the afternoon, the sun moves, moves see the start, sun starts at the back of the house in the morning. So that's the time when my craft room is the, the best because my craft room is on the front. So in the afternoon, it's absolutely unbearable, especially with 31 degrees. So I'm just gonna go on with another coat here on the lines, just to accent that. In fact, I forgot that one before. And his buttons. See, it's, they're very sketchy. Trudy draws them in a very sketchy style so that even the novice, which I still consider myself to be a novice colour arena, um, even the novice can actually get a really good um, result. I'm going to leave his, his cuffs as they are actually. In fact, I'm not going to bleed that out too much actually, I don't think. I quite like it like that. A bit of definition. It's not too much. They are very easy to colour in, and the cool cat one. It's very similar to the cool cat because he's got his um, striped jacket. So all I need to do now is the skin. But because of, I've got my little thing with my hand there that I've, I've rescued, I'm going to just put him to one side to dry and we're going to concentrate on the background and we'll come back and we do the skin when everything's nice and dry. This is exactly how I work at home. I keep putting them to one side and then coming back to them when they're dry. So I put my pins away and we'll move on to the background. So we put him up there to one side. Right, so what have I done with them? Yes, okay. For my background, 
yeah, yeah. My yeah, upstairs, my my craft room is so heat rises. <sighs> Absolutely dreadful. You know, you wake up and it's twenty one degrees, and you think that's not right for England. It really isn't. Right. So this is what we're using. We're using the Terra Nova um, paper pack for my guy card. And they are perfect, absolutely perfect for guy cards. Uh, but the card that I blogged today uh, and the original one, um, no, not today, yesterday, used, that, used this colour scheme. And the original one that I did was with that one. And that one is, what should I do with them? Oh, there they are. Just put it in. I'm actually running out of cards at the moment because I'm working on other stuff. I'm running out of cards to share, so there'll be a lot of demo cards on my blog. So yeah, this one, this is on my blog today. So this this red background paper here is also from the Terra Nova. So it's this one. So you can see that's quite pretty. So you can still use the Terra Nova for, for girly cards as well. Don't think they're just for the guy cards. And so I've cut a double debossed rounded corner rectangle from the the kind of bluey one. It goes kind of blue into grey. Is it that one? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's this one. This one goes blue into grey. And I've actually cut it quite in the middle of, which I don't normally do, quite in the middle of the piece so that I've got a, a little bit of the, the darker colour and a little bit of the grey colour as well. And then I've also cut a strip which has come from this side and then I've got some left over here that I can use something else. So you can still use it, even though you're cutting right in the middle of, of a piece, you can still use it. And this is the rounded corner um, rectangle. Um, and it's the largest but one. If you're using the guys, you need to use the largest but one so that they'll fit. See, he'll fit beautifully on there. If you're using the girls, you can actually go down one. But if you're using the guy and the girl, you've still got to use this. I hope that makes sense. It makes good sense in my head, but honestly, my brain doesn't work very well at the moment. Right, so we're going to stamp on this and we're going to use the straight, straight up stripes background which again, I haven't got out, didn't get anything out. That one, that one. There it is. And the background stamps are A6 and they will fit, that's it, straight up, straight up stripes. They will fit on uh, the largest of the um, set of three acrylic blocks that you get from Phil. So, uh, you know it's a fill one because it says SY. Okay. So, we're just going to very simply um, stamp this. And we're going to go with... Uh, decisions, decisions. We're going to go with uh, Chip Sapphire Oxide. Now, you don't need to worry about joins because we're going to put a border on as well. So we can hide it. See, I'm, I'm really pushing this in so that it, it, it gets a good inking. And then I'm going to mix with just a little bit of water so that it stamps even better. Away from my, my laptop. And we're going to stamp on the lighter side. Let's see if I can get this around the camera. Oh, let's see. About there. Give it a good old press, it's a big stamp. Yeah. A little bit distressed. I like that, feels like me. Actually, I'm a bit distressed at the moment. <laughs> oh, too hot. I think it's all this hair that I've got at the moment, actually on my head, um, because it's been nearly four months since I've had my hair cut. Well, it will be by the time I get to have my hair cut. And I'm not used to all this on my head. And I think that's why I'm so hot. One of the reasons, anyway. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Oh, good. That's a good 
done this and yeah if people will start getting them now which is really good right i actually inked up the whole thing there which was a little bit silly of me so what we're going to do so as not to waste it we're going to grab a piece of pure white card and we're going to hang it off the edge there see i want i'll just carry it away i'm not worried like i say i'm not worried if i make a mess of it I've got my excuses already. It's a background. Yeah, well, it wasn't perfectly lined up, but you won't be able to tell in a minute. So, the if you watch my Facebook, I think you watched. You know, I don't know if it is. I don't think I did this last week actually. Um, this is a really cool stamp because we've got that there. Let's go for a different colour. Let's go for stormy sky. If we add a bit of stormy sky on it as well. It doesn't have to be a different colour, it can be the same colour. It's an absolutely brilliant stamp, I absolutely love it. Available on my website, everything's available on my website. So I'm just turning this 90 degrees and I'm going to stamp it here. See? Oh, you look at that while I go and answer the door. So isn't this a cool stamp? That changes the, it completely. I mean, you could have had a stamp that did that already, but then you wouldn't have had the stripes as well. So absolutely brilliant stamp. Absolutely love that stamp. Hi, Lodi. Obviously the oxide is gonna just wash off under the tap with water. You can obviously use that as a background or a, a, a strip um, if you made a complete one, or you could obviously dye cut your flowers from it. Lots and lots of things that you can do with that. Oh, out of breath now. Right, so, next thing. Right, so we've got this here. I'll do my inking around the edges all in one go, because I've got to uh, ink around a strip. So our strip is gonna go on here, like that. See, told you, don't have to worry about it, do we? But obviously we're gonna decorate this. So we need another background stamp. Obviously we're not going for the girly one. We're not going for the deco fans. We are going to, let's see. I did do woolly knit. So we can do woolly knit or wonderful weave. Let's do wonderful weave. I like, I, quite, I like both of these. They're both really cool. No, let's do. Change your mind. Let's do woolly knit. Now, let's pop this one in here. Another one of Trudy's backgrounds. This was bought out when Fashion Easter was on. So if we grab, because I want, I want to try and line this up properly if I can. So I'm going to mark my rubber. So that's where the end is. And I'm going to mark my block. Mark my rubber. And mark my block. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, Ed is MIA at the moment. He's probably, um, at the cat that is, he's probably uh, under under a very cool place, uh, under a hedge somewhere, because he can't stand this heat. I don't blame him. Who would want to wear a fur coat in this heat? So we go with Stormy Sky on this one, because we want just a, a paler background. We could mix a little bit of uh, chip sapphire in as well if we wanted to. We could use faded jeans, any of the blues would be absolutely fine. Now, when I did a kind of a lining up with the girly one, my last demo last week, I made a right pig's ear of it. I'm going to fix that, um, and when I blog it, you'll see how I fix it. Um, I just wasn't thinking properly. You know, by the time you get to final call, you're just not thinking properly at all. Um, let's see if we can get this straightish. Um, 
I should have used another bit of card there because I've, I've got another background. See, talking about not thinking. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I should have just t thought about what I was doing. But, you know, I'll fix it. So there's our woolly knit. Oh, didn't even get it going to the edge. Fail. Epic fail, Julia. Let's be good and use our rice paper for that. We've got a back, start of a background going on here. Look at this. Doesn't that look fantastic? Right, anyway. So obviously we've got to extend this. My chappy's going to hide this. That's what I should have done, you see. I should have put my lady over the top of it. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. No, this side, Junior. It's too hot. Anybody counting how many, how many times I say too hot? <laughs> it's funny though, isn't it, with cats? Because um, I'm just reading Trudy's comments. See, there's my, mar there's my marker. I need to stand up for this. Um, yeah, yesterday morning I found Ed <laughs> behind the curtain next to the patio door should we do this one we'll do that one as well um next to the patio door so he's in full sun with a fur coat on why do they do that it's like i used to have a cat that used to go into the greenhouse on a hot day why do they do that you know i just wonder if they've got a brain sometimes let's see if we can do this that's not too bad is it I'm happy with that. I'll go with that. Right, let's mop this up and we can move on, move on, move on. That. Okay. Oh, right. Now we're doing the time. Half past. Hi, Marie. Hope you got your order all right. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some inking around the edges because I'm going to stamp with the, the first fine clay. And I want to make sure that I don't smudge it. So we're going to ink around the edges first. So we're going to ink around the edges with the chip sapphire. Oh, again, I didn't think about what it was. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to do Stormy Sky, the lighter one. Let's get these out. Look at these. You see these every week, don't you? I'm never any good at getting out what I need. I might even go for my faded jeans one if I can't find the Stormy Sky. Faded jeans and storm sky are very close to each other, although I don't know where that one is either. That's chip sapphire, so I might be using that. Stormy sky, yay! Because I can't be bothered to wash any of them, so I label them all and put them all away. It does mean actually that you you never waste any of the ink. These are the uh, woodware. Um, blend it to thingies, applicators or whatever you call them. Stormy sky, so we'll be coming together now, hopefully. I wonder if I've got dirty mark there. Where's that come from? Where has that dirty mark come from? This is the problem, making cards when you're all hot. I think it's my fingers. Right. Let we can fix that. Yes, we can. What we do is we'll fix it. We'll make it look like it's supposed to be like that. That's different, isn't it? That'll work. <laughs> I'm still using that. What am I on? Put that up there in it. <laughs> I'll use a piece of kitchen towel to do this so I don't smudge on my background as well. Where there's a will, there's a way. So, inking around the edges just means that um, everything kind of it, it doesn't have harsh edges and it kind of draws your eye in a little bit and it just it's like the finishing touch. That, that that's like tone on tone and we're going to ink around the edges of this one as well just 
bring this in and it will dull down a little bit of the um, stamp background as well which is fine That's all done. Put that one side. The lid. I remember my rice paper this time. I put it in my hand when I missed. I'm all right. I remember. Okay. I've still got dirty hands. Ugh. Why have I got dirty hands? There's nothing that winds me up more than dirty marks on card. I can't stand it. Can't stand it. Makes me want to throw it away when it's got a dirty mark on it. Unless, of course, I can fix it. Right, so we'll put our sentiment on here now. And a little block. And we'll choose, we'll see if we get one will fit from the actual set. This is the, the the thing with these because they're clear you can you can figure out what you want to do so we could have an eight this grain the grand eight or we could go for let's look at the ones that are on the cool cap see if any of these will fit have i got any birthdays coming up that's the question because we can definitely get Happy birthday in there, which will fit. So I'm thinking, should we do that? Should we do the happy birthday? Yes. You can always watch them, Marie. If you can't catch them live, you can. They're always available um, by the video section on my page, and um, normally, sort of later on the same day. Um, I'll take a photograph of the finished card and I actually upload them to uh, YouTube as well so if you're not already a subscriber on my YouTube channel um, just go and look for me and you can watch as many times as you want the brilliant thing about um, watching later uh, as opposed to watching live is of course that you can fast forward the boring bits um, you can pause it, you can, you know, craft along if you want to. So that's a really cool thing to be able to do. So I'm just going to give the ink, this is the Nocturne Verse Fine Curl again, give the ink a little bit of time to settle in. Oh, i ink there as well. Oh. There we go, happy birthday. And we can highlight... Um, some of the text there. We can bring in our blue that we've used on the chappie's um, waistcoat. Oh, in fact, let's just. I've got my mic on thing there. Oh, goodness knows where that. See there where you've lost a little bit of the line because of the tram lines of the double D boss. If you've got one of the Pigma Micron pens, which I'm, I've got somewhere, but. I goodness knows where then you can just um just fill in that there if you're bothered about it if you're not just leave it so all i'm going to do is just color in a little bit of blue because you can go quite fine with these pens and then that's going to make that pop a little bit more it's quite nice having this because there's two lines as well if you used a couple of different colors you could go in and um color with two Colours, or you could just do the diamonds. I think I need new glasses. I keep on going outside the lines. Hopefully that will happen soon. Trouble is, it's so expensive going to get new glasses, isn't it? Take your time with this. You don't want to smudge it. It's quite a nice little extra that you can do. Of course, it's optional. But now that I think this pops a little bit more. And my background's not too bad on here, actually. I quite like this grungy canopy. It's not very Art Deco, but, you know. Okay. That'll do. Right, let's 
Oh, let's do his skin. Let's do his bizog, his face. Right, so the colour I want is that third one there. I tend to keep my pens all in the same order that I've done the swatch because at the moment they've not got numbers or, or, or anything on them. So if you try and put them back in the same order that you've used them, um, A, you won't lose any pens and B, you'll know exactly where you're going. So for this, I'm going to grab my blending mat. This is a small one. And just to put some of the colour on here. You can see how pale it is. And you can leave this um, pen on your blending mat um, as long as you like. Um, because you can just reactivate it because it's a watercolour. I don't, it's be, and it's better to go light first of all and then add some extra. Try not to touch any dark areas when you're doing this because you'll just um, bleed the colour out into it. So you're best off just keeping it in the sketchy style and not quite colouring it all in. I'll do a little bit more on his face, I think. I think he... They don't have, have, have sun. I think he's from Chicago or somewhere like that, and it's the winter, and they don't have quite so much sun over there in the winter, obviously. That's my excuse. Right, let's assemble our card. So, uh, let's put these on first, make sure I've actually got the right size. Now, remember, I've got that join there. So if I'm going to put my chappy over here, which I am, he's going to now hide that join. I can't do a single thing about that there, but you know, I know it's there, but you know, stamp it better, stamp it right off the edge first of all, uh, when you do it. Um, but it's not too bad, it's fine. It's better than the mess I made last week. So using Phil's glue, I'm nearly at the end of this pot. I have got some more. I'd like to use all of it. When you get to the end, just stand it up in the in the lid and you'll be able to use it all. Did yours not um not uh, bleed out, Trudy? Did it not kind of settle down and, and change? Because they blend they keep on blending while they're drying, don't they, these pens? <laughs> no, I know. It's nice to have the interaction. Um, sometimes I think, oh, I haven't got time to do one of these, but um, it is quite, yeah, it is quite nice. I do quite like doing it. I'm so flipping hot today, though, I can tell you. <laughs> um, right, let's put that up there, there. You can see I've trimmed it to the size of um, my card. And the, the card I'm matting onto is... Um, uh, the sentiment of yours cobalt card and so I've got the this is the largest rectangle here so I'm putting it on here and I'm also using the pure white card like I say everything's available on my website juliawattscrafts.co.uk just saying just saying <laughs> and I did put I don't know if there's any left I did put some spellbinder dies on my website last night uh, a pre-loved and some of them are from the Art Deco range um, from Stacey Caron. They're a few years old. I did them on her chanda when her chanda were at the, in the old building. So that's going back quite a long time. Um, but it was too hot to work on cards. So I sat on the patio and loaded some pre-loved stuff up. We're not doing glitter on here because it's a guy card. Let's see where we're going to have this. So I've, I've started to do... See, if I cut, let's grab my, my dice, if I cut the next size rectangle out, this is the next size rectangle to this one. For that, that mat, this mat is too big. It's too, too big for a sentiment. It's going to take up most of my card. It's no good. So, especially for the Art Deco ones, I've been doing like a clapperboard kind of thing. So actually cutting out the rect same size rectangle and doing a, a clapperboard feel to it. So we're going to glue those together. 
without all the talking and the faffing around and answering the door this is actually a very quick card to do obviously you need to cut out your image which we haven't done but you know you see me colouring and um, so it is quite quick and obviously the die cutting put that pen away and my chap is going to go here I need some tape for that this is quite a good tip actually this is the woodwear phone tape that I sell on my website and um, especially in this heat if you leave it unattended it starts to unravel and you've got these long flappy bits but just get elastic band and, and uh, pop it around and uh, you'll keep it nice and secure I've been doing that for years I like woodwear phone tape it's cheap but it works and it doesn't tend to um, distort at all you know kind of if you've got weight on it so he's going that's going there like that board He's got to cover up my thingy there. Oh, I was going to stamp something there. Completely forgot. I was going to stamp an extra sentiment there. Can't do it now. So just pretend that there's something extra there, like cool cat or ain't this grand or just something else there. I haven't got my original card. Phil's got it. <sighs> oh, dear. It doesn't matter. It makes it different, doesn't it? It's just a bit boring there, isn't it? But we, what we could do is, I, I probably won't do it. I mean, we could have put, but it's stuck down. We could have put one of the borders on. Let me grab this. So although it's that is in um, oxide, it doesn't matter. You can actually pop a border on. So you can pop any of these borders on just to add a little bit of interest to your background. All right, there's an idea. I've got lots of ideas of what to do afterwards. You could also take some of your deco extras. So what we could do is actually stamp the car and bring the car in there. That would work, wouldn't it? I might do that after we've finished, but not now. Yeah, that's a bit big. I like that idea. It's a great, 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 great um, collection, this. Absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys are loving it too. I know the shows are very busy. Look at these silly foam pads I've got. They're good for the legs though because they're so little. I've had the, these are left over from my shop, so I've had these uh, I don't know 15 years or something, very long time. Yeah, I will put the car there, but I'm not doing it now. <laughs> it's too hot to do it now. Yes, uh, Tanith, yes, uh, Phil's glue um, pot is uh, easy to squeeze. It was very important for him because, um, you know, he gets feedback from his ladies on his workshop uh, and quite a few of them are, let's, shall we say, um, they've, um, they're, they're, they're retired, so we just say that. So, um, yeah, it is very important that it's easy to squeeze. Sorry, I know this is the most boring thing in the world. It, dry, it frustrates me watching this on TV. So what it's like now, I don't know. So we're going to pop him on there like that. He's such a handsome chappy. And these are on here. Like that. Just off the I like it coming off a bit. Let's just do this, shall we? Let's let's grab this card. If I stamp and emboss it, I'll be able to cut it out, won't I? Whereas I can't cut it out if I just versify it. Right. I know I've got a delivery coming, but Nathan's up now so he can answer the door for me. Right, the car. So we need a piece of card with uh, that fit on there. This is a pure white card and a satty bag. That's going to be a challenge. I've got to find my clear embossing powder as well. Ah, oh, look, this bag's broken. There we go. Anti static because obviously I'm going to emboss, so I want to make sure that I don't. Um, get my fingerprints and things in there. What is my embossing powders? Oh look, that was well done wasn't it? 
Right, so I know that one's got bits in it. Pure white, crystal clear, that's a new one. No matter how careful you are, you end up getting bits in your embossing hand. And that also goes in it. There's quite a few things that go in it, actually. A bit of paper. Everything ready. Right, should we go stamping press? I think we'd better had. It's quite a solid stamp. And then you'll have to watch me cut it out, won't you? <laughs> I won't be, I won't mind at all if you go away now. If you, if, and if, if you just, you know, say goodbye because I understand this is going to be a little bit boring. It is an easy shape to cut out. Having said that, though, I've got stamps everywhere. And of course use regular versifines i've got some more stock of regular versifines coming today without the flappy lid yay and i have got nocturne in stock i've got most of the versifines in stock although some of the stock's running out and i can't get any more at the moment okay Ooh. should we should we go with that let's just do it once more no we'll go with that no, it'll be fine, because I, if, I, if I end up moving it a little bit, because occasionally you do move these things, even though you've got stamp press, and it's such detailed lines just around the wheel arch and thing. So, i go for the crystal clear and fill. Remember with these, they're anti-static powders, and the fan's still going. Just, how did I get ink all over there? Oh, that's probably from before. Um, yeah, anti-static powders, so keep them in their pot because the pots are anti-static as well super fine now i am going to do a fill i am going to heat from underneath because it's um and this is going to make me hotter because it's uh, a solid stamp you're going to see uh, a bit of pitting if i heat from uh, uh, above so we are going to heat from below a lot quicker if you um, heat, heat your heat tool up. I've just received some more of uh, the dual um, wow embossing tools. So they're back in stock. I need to grab one for me actually. I've only got the old one from wow. See, it's still relatively quick because it's a fine powder so it doesn't take ages. Just remember if you're cutting out, so you can't see any any blemishes on there actually just remember when you're cutting out don't um words julia don't go um sticking your fingers on it before it's dry just saying because i've done that I've been there done that it should be dry now it is hot 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 too hot and as usual i'm going to make life easier for myself and i'm going to actually cut it out with um a little border around because it's a cheat way of cutting out really but you know if you've got a scan and cut it, it'll leave a little border anyway draws out it's very hard to cut around a circular object let's see I'm trying to do it quickly which is a bad thing I don't put my tongue out when I'm cutting out, but I do kind of tend to, I don't grind my teeth, but, but I find that my teeth, I press them down harder. It's really weird what people do, isn't it? When you're doing a workshop, um, everybody goes really quiet when you, um, they're cutting out or colouring in, which is quite cool. I know what we'll do with this, because it's not the best cutting out in the world, but I know what we'll do to hide it. Hopefully I'm showing you quite a few things you can do to hide things. Nearly done. 
I can't look at your comments while I'm doing this, otherwise I'll cut the hood off. Or whatever this roof bit is called. Real Bonnie and Clyde kind of car, this. And what we could do is we could um, use a, a, a watercolour pen to um, uh, do the windows. A little bit of, of the very light blue that's in set two would do the windows. Because I don't think set three's got a very light blue in there. And then the blue will carry on with the theme of what we're doing. Right, that's all cut out. So where's my? I'm going to take my stormy sky, and I'm just going to add a little bit of stormy sky around the edges, which will disguise. Hopefully, my bad cutting out. Okay. And if we get, where's it to? Where's it? That's two. This very pale blue. And set two and the blendy mat. I'm not going to do with the tyres because the tyres, I think they did have them as, um, they did have them as um, white, didn't they? That's just very, very subtle. You can probably not see it, but I can. So, that'll work, won't it? Should we foam pad it? Yeah, let's foam pad it. Let's put some more of these ridiculous foam pads on. I know, let's put some foam tape on instead. I can do that. And we just have... I don't want the top flapping around. We'll have a couple of little ones up there. Okay. Let's see if we can get it straight. Coming in. There we go. I think that's a good addition. There we have have it we've managed it oh Jean I've just finished but you can watch it on catch up yeah this yeah Jennifer the the yeah I've already yeah I did say to Rose it is the the um, Hampton Arts stamp perfect yeah absolutely So, yeah, so, so don't, yeah, the car stamps on Deco Extras, uh, like I say, everything's uh, available on my website, uh, juliewattscrafts.co.uk, and if you go into um, the, the brand section, you can drop down and you can find all the Sentimentally Yours stuff there, and you can even um, filter it and just look at Trudy Howard's stuff if you want to. Um, so thank you very much for joining me and um, like I say I'll put this onto YouTube later on today and at some point I'll also blog it. Um, so thank you very much for joining me, um, stay safe and remember to drink loads and loads of water in all this heat and I will see you soon. Bye!